Hey guys, Super Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are continuing our playthrough of My Friendly Neighborhood. Now, in the previous video, we just got outside of the office buildings where we fought a giant boss and also befriended a puppet who was once dangerous called Goblet, and we sort of made her feel a little bit better after she broke down into tears. Uh, after watching a war movie, and war seems to be tied to this game. There's a backstory somewhere here about people returning from this war and um, feeling mistreated by society, and it seems to tie into the story of My Friendly Neighborhood, but we don't know how yet. We're going to continue our playthrough today, guys. I don't know how many more episodes will be left, but I do think um, in this particular episode, we're probably going to do some more exploring, maybe explore this side of the map a little bit, maybe go back to Studio 4 because after getting out of this building, of course, we have a new key, which we're now able to unlock some new parts of the map with. So I'm going to check over here, guys, because I think if you look at our map, yeah, look, we've got a diamond key access point here down the side of the office building. And in fact, I can actually see an arrow going this way, dummy. So we're going to go this way. What's this? Ooh, inspect. Power pack? Ooh, we can turn this on. Nice. What's that done? Oh, I think that's opened up the park. Ooh. And what's down here? Anything else? Okay, let's check this out. So this is the public park. And it seems like the door's now open. Man, I didn't expect to be going to a public park in this game. It's very dark, though. Hope you guys can see this okay. Oh my god, what is this? It's these guys, the puppets that like hang out the walls and jump at us. I hate these things. They're terrifying. Alright, does that mean we're going to be ambushed? That's locked from the other side, okay. This is like a maze. I hope we can find our way back. Oh no, it's that one. It's okay. We'll be fine, we've got our gun. There is the puppet goblet that we befriended in the last episode. So hopefully she's not going to be attacking us anymore. Uh, let's keep going. Ooh, we've got a tool shed. Nice. And a toolbox. Ooh, we've got the map. So this is a backlot map. Let's have a look at this. So we're currently here, in the tool shed. So we can't actually get into here yet because there's only one door that leads through here. I think we're gonna have to maybe access that area through here, which is in the um, hotel area. Huh, okay. Unless I can go through this door. Oh, I can. I can go through this door, nice. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Who wants to bet Ricky comes out of that little bird box in a minute? There's the antenna we need to shut down. Gordon, where are you going? Yep, there he is. <laughs> where do you think? What's the matter with you? Don't you want to be our friend? You have a funny way of making friends. I'm lucky I haven't been hugged to death or eaten. Okay, I admit we're not at the top of our game, but you can't throw us out just because we've made a few mistakes. I'm just doing my job. Uh-huh, sure. I take it blasting your way through hordes of allegedly psychopathic puppets is a normal day at work for you, hmm? Seriously, Gordon, who hurt you? I don't know what you're talking about. No? So you were just born a bully? I'm not a bully! Surprised you're not a detective. They're always bashing down doors and brandishing guns. Or maybe a GI give you a chance to rampage through some small defense. Don't say that, Ricky. Say what? Don't talk about the war. Why not? Just saying. Seems like exactly the sort of place you- Oh damn, he shot him. <sighs> well, I'm sure he's fine. He's just gone down his little tube, I think. But yeah, Gordon and the war, they're, you know, they've got some bad history between them. So we'll have to find out maybe what that is. Maybe he lost a friend out there. Maybe he did something that he, re you know, regrets. We'll have to wait and see. It's locked. I do like Ricky, though. I think Ricky's a, a fun character. Alright, where are we going here, guys? It's kind of spooky, actually, down here in this climbing frame. Well, I don't know if we can do anything more here at the moment, guys. This climbing frame seems to be uh, inaccessible at the moment. So we might have to come back here another time. We can keep going through here, though, and hopefully access this door now. 
Yes. Okay. Oh god, what was that? What was that? I looked like a dog. I literally looked like a dog. Guns that were ready. Ooh, is this gonna take us down into the basement again? There's no power. Okay, so we need to find power for this. Then we can go back to the basement. What does this need? I don't know. Just needs power. Alright, let's go. Back up this way, I guess, then. That's a triangle door. We need the triangle key still. I don't know where we get that from. Pretty sure we can't. Yeah, we can't unlock that yet. We can go through this side. Hey, we got a TV. And we've also got a horrifying sacrifice for City Tribune. Monday, September 7th, 1981. Editorial. Last night, I was watching a rerun of one of the old newsreels from the war, when one of the stories jumped out at me. In one operation, a platoon of soldiers found themselves trapped in a collapsing mine. As they ran to the entrance, one of the timbers supporting the tunnel began to fall, until a private, Joshua Hartwright, caught it on his shoulders. As he held up the wood, his friends scrambled out underneath his outstretched arms, until after everyone else was out, he let go and the tunnel collapsed in on him, burying him forever in the earth. When I heard the story, I felt a mixture of emotions. Pity for the waste of human life, anger at the injustices of war, but most of all, I was horrified. Horrified that a person might have to do such a thing. Horrified that it was being held up as an inspiration, to lay down your life for someone else to lose everything, to have the veil torn, and the scraps of your life vanish into nothingness. How could anybody ask someone else to do that? Who would do that voluntarily? And if you don't, do they call you a coward? So this is the kind of reason why, you know, Gordon didn't like the war, because stuff like that happened all the time. Somebody very brave there though. You can see that TV with the video from the beginning of the game playing. That woman being interviewed. Let's check out the drawers. Some shotgun ammo. Nice. Anything in the fridge? Nope. Oh, that's a clean fridge. Not any food at all in that one. Let's check our map. We can see we've fully explored this room now. Nothing else to get, so let's go. Alright, let's head downstairs. I'm guessing maybe... Oh. I guess we can probably feed the dogs here, right? Poor pups. Probably haven't been fed in a long time. Yeah, we need to be able to feed them somehow, so if we get some food, there's nothing in the fridge in there, but like, if we can get some food, we can put it in here, and maybe just like with Goblet, you know, where we calmed Goblet down by showing them the film and then having a heart-to-heart, -heart, putting the food in these dog bowls might help calm the dogs and uh, relax them a little bit, I'm not sure. Okay, let's go through here. Greenhouse. Seeds? Cindy Seeds. Nothing else seems to be in here. Oh, inspect. So this isn't working currently. So this is solvent, jam solvent. Looks like it takes liquid. Okay. So we turn this on then. And the liquid comes into here. Oh! Guys, we can get the key! It's up there! Maybe I can use this to dissolve whatever's blocking the elevator in the hotel. Yeah, Barry's jam solvent. Sometimes jam clogs up the hotel elevator. If this happens, you can unstick it by applying this compound. Step 1. Add the following into the mixing station bottles. One jug of Lumalux film developer. One gallon of weed out, weed killer. And one tub of virtuoso trumpet polish. Step 2. Turn on the water using the tap. Step 3. Press the following buttons for the indicated times. Red, 1 to 2 seconds. Green, 1 to 2 seconds. Blue, 3 to 4 seconds. And green again, 2 to 3 seconds. The final solution will be dispensed below in the mixing station. Alright, can I take the key? Hey, I can just take the key, nice. So we need to get the solution for this and then mix up the solvent and then we can go back to the hotel and get rid of the jam that we found in episode one which was kind of blocking up the elevator doors. This is a very Resident Evil-like puzzle for those of you who haven't played the old Resident Evil games. 
was a puzzle just like this in the original Resident Evil. Alright guys, well we don't have any of the uh, required materials yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this new key we've just picked up and we're going to start exploring and see if we can track down those different compounds. Right, over here first I think. It's unlocked. Alright, what's this? Inspect power pack. Ooh, nice. We might need that. Some ammo. Just a hat and some shoes. Ooh, health. I'll take it. And a newspaper. A new wave. The City Tribune, Sunday, March 16th, 1980. Business News Bites. The city has seen a recent economic downturn as a new wave of corporations has emerged, characterised by aggressive policies that place profits before the well-being of consumers. One such corporation, Nebuzaradan Enterprises, I think that's how that's pronounced guys, has been acquiring real estate at a rapid pace, in many cases evicting the current tenants as part of a programme to reshape the city into a community more conductive to its business practices. You can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs, said Ronald Rickborker, CEO of Nesubaradan, in a recent interview. While it may be painful for some, we are helping to create a city that can withstand the future. Well, he sounds like a douchebag. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say on that. Reshaping the city to make it worse for most people is what I'd say there. So now we have this power supply, guys. I don't know where we can use that. We can probably have an explore and find out. There's got to be a place we can put the power supply around here to power up that elevator, right? Oh yeah, look, here we go. Flip the switch. There we go, we've got power. And now we can take this down, guys, and we can access some of those locked doors, you know, down below in the basement that we previously couldn't access. Hey, little mouse. How you doing? You going mad from all this noise, from all the crazy ramblings of the puppets. Let's have a look at our map, guys. So first of all, where are we? We're here. So we want to go along here to take a look at these doors over here. Kind of scared. Oh my god! That was Ray. I didn't even know he was there. Get back, Ray. Sick and tired of you. Alright, I'm gonna run, guys. Or I'm gonna run. Hey, hey, hey! How you doing? I'm gonna run away from you. You crazed puppet. Look at him. Ah, leave me alone. Okay, we're back. Now, yeah, I remember this being here, so we're gonna unlock this to start with. Hey! The other side of the medallion. Okay, we need some room to store this. So, let's just go over here. See, we've got that other piece of medallion there. So I think we can discard the items that have a tick next to them. So we'll discard these items. Uh, we shouldn't need these anymore. There we go. So I've discarded all the items that um, I don't think we need anymore, guys. And now, we uh, should actually be able to... Uh... Just do a bit of rearranging here. And now, stash this. We can probably connect these two. Oh, we can't. Okay, never mind. Well, we've got two halves of that. We can't put it together right now, but we have got two halves of that. Now let's have another look at our map. So through these tunnels, we actually have a locked door up the top of there, so we might want to try that one. It's time oh no, I remember this place. I'm going to have to take you down, my friend. I'm going to tape you. Hey, Norman. He's coming for us. Nope, I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Where are we starting? Where are we starting now? Starting what? We can teach them. We can teach them. No, you're not teaching me anything. Raise Lair, stay away. Oh no. 
It's Ray's lair. Bad boy. Hey, hey, that's not gonna fix it. Okay, he's disappeared. Are we gonna have to fight Ray? Look at all this trash everywhere, guys. He's not been doing his job and keeping things clean. Okay, I guess we go up and we check this place out. Oh, I think we can. It's locked. Is there anything around here? There is. Oh, we just placed down that thing that we picked up in the last episode, guys. The, um, I think that's the water pump thing. So maybe we can turn this now. Yes, we're draining the pool. Or maybe we're not. No, we're filling it. We're filling up the sewers. This was a bad mistake. What do you want? Fix. Yeah, I fixed it. Ow. Fix. Oh. I, I, I just... Look, when, when you've got a problem, you can't just clam up and start hitting everything with a wrench. That won't fix anything. Oh, it's kind of sweet. He's just happy we fixed it for him. Well, I'm going now. So yeah, guys, just like with Gobbler in the last episode, it seems like we can sort of solve the problems for each of these puppets. Maybe we get a different ending if we do this. Because now, look, we can go up to Ray. He's really friendly. He doesn't want to attack us anymore. He's just, like, happy that we fixed this for him. And it has, in fact, basically drained all the sewage from in this room. So we fixed his problem. So I don't know if we needed to do this for the story. I think this was completely optional. But it's good that we did it. Um, so I'm going to try and do that for, like, all the characters that we meet. So we definitely want to go back to see those dogs again. Feed the, the dogs through the dog bowls. Because I think that will kind of help the dogs out. Um, I'll, I'll try and figure out how we do all these different, like, problem-solving exercises, and then hopefully we can get the true ending to the game. Anyway, uh, I don't know if there's anything else we can check. or oh, we can get some ammo. That's about it, by the look of it. Yep, nothing more in here. Let's just double-check on our map. Nope, we're done. Alright, let's go. So now, I think we only place... <laughs> Sorry, Norman. I think the only place that we can uh, go to now, guys, is back this way. There's uh, a place we can use our key back this way. Actually, the offices as well. There's a few places in there we can use our new key. But we'll go to this one first. He might be a friend, but uh, not a friend I want. So this is where they kept all the cans of films. Or, look, all the episodes, actually. All the different episodes here. Got a note. Market Survey, Thursday, February 19th, 1981. MFN Studios Market Survey. In recent years, television viewership has surged and television programming has multiplied and diversified as broadcasters scramble to capitalize on a rapidly growing audience. New favorites like Crime City and Drama Daily have quickly grown in popularity. As the war generation ages and their children beginning to enter the ranks of adulthood imitate their parents' viewing habits. In the same period, however, My Friendly Neighbourhood's ratings have plummeted. While surveys suggest that the show is as popular as ever with its under six crowd, the new generation of parents is less and less interested in showing it to their children, preferring instead more mainstream offerings like Dinosaur Mayhem. This has prompted the City Network Broadcasting Group to put pressure on MFN Studios to reimagine the core principles of its series. So it looks like they reimagined the show because the network wasn't happy with uh, the output they were putting out there. And look, another reel of film, guys. We got the final reel of film for the cinema in the offices, so we'll go and play that later. We've also got the film developer, but there's no, there's no room to carry it. I think we can discard this, so we'll discard this. Hopefully I can pick this up now. Yes. Okay, so we'll go and store that in the toolbox. We got the first of the three liquids we need. We've also got a film reel. We're all friends oh my god, here. you've come Friendly to life. Day. Stay down. Question is, will I need to come back this way? Probably not, so I'm not going to tie you up. 
you can remain untied. So I think we've got all the doors we can get here now, guys. We probably want to go back up to maybe the offices. Because if we look at the offices... Yeah, there's a number of doors, I think, in here that are locked with a triangle key. So... I'm going to head up to the offices again, guys, and I'll cut back to when I get there. Oh my god. I can hear a dog, guys. I've just come back upstairs. No! No! Oh my god. He attacked. Oh no. Screw you, dog. I'm running. I'm running. Oh my god. The dogs are active. I slapped him on the nose. Like, booped him on the snoot with the, um... <laughs> with this. Bang. I don't think we actually need to be here, though. I think we need to go back the other way. I'm going to have to go back into the dog-infested room. Right, if you come close to us, dog, I'm going to shoot you. Back, back. He just falls down. Oh, no. Oh, he comes back to life. Okay, he's not dead. I'm kind of glad but sad at the same time. And he almost got us. He's very fast. So with those dogs, you have to... Oh, my God, we've got another one. Screw this. Please don't attack, doggy. Please don't attack. Just chill. I'm going this way. Ah! Go, go, go. Go, go. Oh my god, this is nuts. Alright, we're good. We escaped. Oh no, there's another one there. So there were three dogs, weren't there? Yeah. Alright, we're going to have to... Wait, what the heck is that over there? Oh my god, guys. This is actually getting kind of creepy now. Right, don't mind us. We're just going to sneak back into the offices. Do I actually have to go into the middle? I have to go into the middle, guys. Run. No, 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 no. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Ah! Okay, run. Go, 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 go. Screw this. Ah! All right, that is actually horrible. Those dogs scare me. But now we're back in here, we can check where we can actually um, gain access to. I think there was one point around here actually that we can gain access to straight away with the key. Just down here. Yeah. You unlocked it with a green triangle key, look. Oh great, we've already got a guy in here. I'm going to have to shoot you long-armed freaky puppet thing. This is kind of nice though, little music room, we've got a Norman over there, I'll take that, anything else, ooh inspect, a burning anxiousness, this again is the City Tribune posting on Monday August 18th 1980, somehow life in the city just doesn't seem as enjoyable as it once was, and I don't just mean because of the economy, I feel a burning anxiousness, a constant sense of missing something that saps the enjoyment from my normal activities and makes everyday discomforts almost intolerable. On the subway, people's elbows jab into your personal space. Angry pedestrians yell at you on the street. When I finally get home from work and snap on the television, I breathe a sigh of relief. Compared to the world outside, television is safe, predictable. I can choose what to watch and avoid what feels uncomfortable. For a few moments, I can escape the anxiousness and become lost in a world of pleasant dreams. Under the trance of a TV there. Is there anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Right, time to fight a Norman. <laughs> I love how they just kind of bounce around when you shoot them. So we've got some ammo from him. Ooh, another one of these. Don't know if we need to bang those, but... Bang them on my will. Oh, there's the trumpet polish. So that's another thing that we needed. Awesome. All right, let's go. We've got two of the three liquids we need. 
We're going to head to the top floor now, guys. We're going to try and put the film reel into a projector. So this should be the final film reel now. I think we put it into projector three. Yeah, there we go. And so if we play this now, let's see what happens. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's a code. 7, 12, 4. What the heck? He set up an alarm. Is that it? Is that the whole film? Alright, yeah. We've got to write this down, guys. Alright, guys. We've got the code now. Now, that's for a safe. Um... We've got to find the safe in question, of course, but I think that was a secret, and that should give us something that we would want, I guess. Okay, so what we want to do now, guys, I think, is go to the statue room. There's a place there where we can use our key and access a new part of this level. Hey, Junebug. Let's just head upstairs. Oh, my God. These guys. All right, here's the door. That's kind of scary, just coming in and seeing those guys in my face. So where's this taking us to? Ooh, conference room. Surely there's some good lore in here, right? Oh, a secret tape. Got a cheat tape. I don't know when we get to use these cheat tapes. I think we have to complete the game first. But, I guess it was worth coming here for that. I think this is just literally, like, a secret. Let's have a look at our map. Yeah, there's nothing else in here now. So we just wanted to get that secret tape. Okay, let's check. Let's see if there's anything else in this place that we haven't accessed yet. Nope. We've explored the entire office. So next, guys, I'm going to head back outside. And um, we're going to go to stage four. Because in stage four... We actually have a place that we can unlock with the diamond key. We have another place we can unlock with a diamond key. And a place we can unlock with a triangle key. So, yeah, there's like a couple of places we can search there for the final compound we need. And then we can go back to the greenhouse. So, let's head back over to, uh, I guess, stage four. Great, we've got to get back across this parking lot without the dog getting us. I might want to get my shotgun out for this. Okay, don't notice us, don't notice us, little pooch. What the heck, man? Oh god, it's a statue. It's a stone one. We, we can't even shoot them. Our bullets literally just bounce off them. What the heck? There's a dog in here as well. Are you kidding me? These dogs are everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I'm going. I'm going. I'm heading down. That was horrible. What the heck, guys? There's characters everywhere now. Okay, this isn't working. You have to shoot those ones. No! <laughs> Everything's going wrong suddenly. Alright. Screw this. I'm going to tape you up, Junebug. Okay, so I think we want to head through this door now. We should be near an area we can use the keys. Uh, don't mind us. Oh my god. Okay. Here's one of the doors. Anything of use in here? Oh, the playground key. So we need that because that door was locked in the uh, on the climbing frame. So we've got the playground key now. That's really good. There should also be another key, uh, another door, sorry, around here somewhere we can access, though. Yeah, if we go up here and up here, we'll get to a door we can also unlock. Yes, here we go, guys. This is the door. So this was previously locked. Don't know what that strange sound is. Now we can go through it, and hopefully, get some treats. Ooh. Oh, here's a safe! 
in this very strange room. We've also got a newspaper article, so we'll read this first. My Friendly Scandal, City Tribune article on Thursday, August 26, 1982. My Friendly Scandal, Richard Bromine, known for playing Stevie on the long-running children's show My Friendly Neighbourhood, is leaving the production after one of the puppet performers, Ray, attempted to hit him with a clothes iron during an on-stage conversation. The fracas erupted after Bromine had made critical comments about the show's creative direction, including creator Al Gerswald, according to eyewitnesses. It's always been like this on set, said Bromine in an interview. It's not just Ray. Pearl, Goblet, Ricky, they're all crazy. He added, This has been a long time coming. No one takes me seriously because I'm on my friendly neighbourhood. I'm ready to have a career that's more widely recognised. Fair enough, he left. I mean, he was attacked by a puppet, can't blame him too much. What's this? What the heck? Alright, I have no idea what that is. Anyway, let's try and access this. So, it was... 7 right, 12 left, 4 right. Hey, there we go. Ooh. And we've got a new fuse, guys. I bet that would open the other locked door. Nice. So I bet we go back to the basement, we get a good secret. So I kind of want to go back to the basement now. But we'll go back after we fully explored this area. But we have got a new fuse that we can use to hack in that basement now and hopefully get through the other electronic door that was locked. We can go up to the main stage and then we can we can get into this room that was previously locked. I think that's the only one. So there's just one more locked door in this area. So we'll head up to the main stage. Hey, we can open this as well. What the heck? Where's this taking us? Oh, this just takes us out here. Oh my god, the dog! Holy moly, those dogs are insane. I haven't got much ammo left now as well, guys. Um, I might have to try and bait this guy. Run, 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 run. Come on. We can teach them. We can teach them. You can teach them, sure. Just don't teach me. Oh my god, there's puppets all over this place. I'm running. Go, go, go. Run. Alright, we made it. Nice. I think this is where we need to be. Oh, these things, man. So annoying. Where are they even? There's one there. Right, let's access this. We're in. Secret tape! Nice! Awesome. So now where do we want to go? Oh, we need to head back to the public park, don't we? I'm gonna have to shoot this dog. Sorry, doggy! But, you know, needed to be done. Now you head through here. We might as well use the key on the climbing frame while we're here as well. Oh no, the dog. Leave us alone. Right, let's see if this works. Yes, it did. He can't come up here, can he? No, he's stuck down there. Good. Right, is there anything else up here then? Anything at all? Ooh, what's this? It looks like the pegs in the bucket can go here. Oh, okay. Oh, we gotta place them around as we saw them in the maze. So, I think, like, for example, as I remember it, these ones went here as you entered the maze. And then I think maybe... I think it was like this one next here, maybe? We're going to have to go back and check, guys. We can see that Ricky's down there, so we can do that one. Ricky is... 
just here. Yeah, we just need to, like, have a look at the front of this building. Oh, man. Right, I'm going to head down. Oh, there's one there. No! Oh, my God. He runs up. Are you kidding me? Okay. Oh, God. Right, this is going really badly for me. Okay, so Goblet goes there. Then the cabby guy goes there. On the far right. Leave us alone! I'm sorry I had to do that. Oh, and Ray goes at the bottom. We might be able to do it now. I think cabby guy goes there. Ray goes at the bottom. Is this right? Hey, yes, that was right. The door's unlocked. Oh, the savage puppet. And we've got the final thing that we needed, the weed out. So now we've got all three compounds, guys. I think we can make some progress. I've just got to remember where the nearest um, storage shed was. Ah! Leave me alone, dog! I think it was over here, wasn't it? We need to head back this way. Go in. Get everything out of storage. So we need that. We need that. That should be about it, I think. So now we just need to run back and hope we don't get savaged by the dog. I'm gonna get my shotgun out. Leave me alone, dog. Ah. He fell for my trap. Problem is, we've got another dog down here straight away. I'm just using all my ammo right now, wasting on these dogs, but what else do I do? Okay, we're going to make for that greenhouse. Just beeline for it. In we go. Whew. So we need to put the, the free items into the bottles to start with. That's one, two, three. Okay. Then it's a turn on the tap, I think. So that's on. That's powered that up. Now, press the following buttons for the indicated times. Okay, so we've got to follow these times here then. Press the buttons for the indicated times. So... E to inspect. Alright, so red first, one to two seconds. One. 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 Two. Three. Okay, that worked. And then green two to three seconds. One. Two. Hey! Okay, guys, the, the counting there was a little off in my mind. So I was kind of having to count like... <laughs> Really slow and probably sounded a bit weird there, but it took, took me a while to get there. So we'll take this now. We've got the solvent. Now we can melt the glue in the hotel lobby and hopefully make some progress. But before we do, we're going to go all the way back down to the basement and I'm going to try and unlock that secret electronic door with the new fuse we picked up. So uh, I'll see you in the basement, guys. Okay, so we've got to the fuse box again, guys. I think we're trying to unlock this door here. What we need to do is actually take out these and we need to check what the new combination is going to be. Okay, so the combination is Spade, Star, Diamond, Heart. So, Spade, Star, Diamond, Heart. Hey, it's unlocked. Might as well tape this guy. Oh, I can't tape him up. Okay, never mind. Alright, so where are we now? Ooh, got a grenade. Anything else? <laughs> Look at this giant cannon in here. Huh. Some cages. And then... Secret elevator. Ooh, nice. 
So where's this gonna take us? Holy moly. Wow, guys, this is crazy. This is a big secret. Oh, yeah. This is more like it. I could use a vacation. So it's like we're on a beach here. Oh, we got pirates. It's swashbuckling. Look, there's a sword. We got pirates out here. I'm going to hit this guy from behind. No, he grabbed me. Oh, God, we're in danger mode. We're in danger mode, guys. Don't let me die now. Wow. He took some punishment. Look at Junebug. She's in a pirate outfit as well. I'm not taking any chances. I'm on danger here. Sorry, Junebug. We had to blast you. Wow, look at this, guys. I need to take a better look at this. We've got a pirate setting. This is where they made that pirate movie that we heard about. The swashbuckling movie. This is cool. I want some health, though. Have I got any health? I have got no health. Woe is me right now. Let's have an explore then. There's got to be some good stuff over here. Hey, is that health? Oh, it's not. There's a diamond. Oh, there's a diamond. A gem. So we can take the gem. Huh. wonder why we'd want the gem. It must come into play later on. Let's head upstairs. Anything I can do up here? Ooh, look. A secret area, guys. We can actually head over here. There's a sword. Oh, and a second gem. Nice. So we've got two gems now. Interesting. Is there anything else here? There's a little cave area. Ooh, treasure chest. Oh, we need another gemstone for it. <gasps> and there's a gun in there. Okay, we need to find that last gem. Oh, it's here. It's here, guys. Take this. <laughs> oh my god. A good what the heck? The conclusion. It's a mini gun. There's no room. We need eight spaces. Oh man, I need that gun. You don't understand how much I need that gun. I have a feeling, guys, that this gun is just going to wreck everything. I don't think you guys are ready for how cool this is going to be. Hey, all right, we got it. This will bring him to a full stop. I'm not even going to waste the ammo for this. We've got 99 ammo. I bet we don't even get any extra ammo for this thing. But, guys, if there's ever, like, a really tough boss or anything, this is a gun I'm using. Because look at this thing, man. This is insane. Woo! I like that. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else we can really do here. Um... Let's have a look at our map. This isn't even on the map, by the way, this area, guys. So, I'm just... Oh, God, there's a walkway. Look, guys, we can climb the walkway as well. Almost missed this completely. I really hope we get some health. That's what I need the most. So, look, we can look down on the whole set from up here. There's a door. Ooh, where's this lead? We're on the roof. No way. Oh man, this is actually exciting. Oh, we're on the walkway above Studio 4 now. I get it. I am on danger though, I need help. I really hope we don't run into any enemies here. But look, we can look down on the entire area. I wonder where this leads us to. <laughs> oh no, we just jumped down. What the heck? I didn't want to do that, guys. Oh my god. That was foolish. Alright, guys. I've got back outside. We're on danger, so I don't really want to push my luck here. So I'm just going to try and edge around here. And we're going to go inside. 
I'm gonna get rid of the jam on the elevator door, man. Hopefully we can um, basically save the game. Uh, and I can go and try and explore the basement another time, you know, finish off that room. Finally, let's get this done. Okay, so now we're going upstairs, I guess, to try and fix the elevator. Also, can I get a chocolate bar? Oh, health. Someone's left these for us. Nice. Huh, don't know what that actually does. Chocolate doesn't seem to heal us. Right, let's uh, let's head up, guys. We're going upstairs. All right, guys, well, we've just headed up the elevator. We're on the top floor. And um, I think this is where I'm going to leave it for this episode. So in the next episode, we'll probably be finishing off the game, but we've done quite a lot in this particular video, so I do want to end it at some point. So we're going to stop here for now, and then in the next episode, we're going to try and head to the top of the hotel, fix the antenna, and hopefully you know, experience the end of the game, and maybe we'll even take a look at some of the cheats I've unlocked and stuff as well. If you have enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you can leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I'll see you all on the next one.